We're gonna show you how you can go from this to this. Some late pressure, it's a run, and busting free is Singleton. Touchdown, Penn State, 87 yards. And we're gonna start, right? Nah. So it's important to do traditional speed work, like running hills, pulling sleds, actually just running sprints on a track or out on the turf. But we need to warm up before we get to that point. We need to prep our body for that chaos coordination that's going to occur on the football field. That's gonna take us into this sweet warm up. So if we start off with warming up our ankles, warming up our feet, getting everything moving, when we're on an unstable surface like a PVC pipe, what ends up happening is our body starts to be a little bit more aware. We start to initiate a heightened sense of awareness. And this is really, really important when we're leading into a speed based training session. Then we're gonna get into some simple back work. So if I wanna be in this position here and we gotta think about what we learned from a previous speed workout is that when we're waking up our back and our trunk, that's gonna help with agility. And if we can wake up that trunk, have proper dynamic trunk control, that's gonna lead to better execution of speed. So we're gonna be here, I wanna rotate backwards, and then come forward. And I wanna keep my hand straight forward here, come back, and I don't wanna try and twist at all, I wanna just keep my shoulders in that same position as they open. And you're gonna feel this in that upper back. I'm gonna go to each side, okay? Ooh, this side's a little bit tighter. We wanna improve that thoracic rotation while we're holding this split position. We wanna feel that plantar flexion on the back. That should be loosened up from the PVC pipes. Then we're gonna get here, and I wanna do simple hip extension. Here, squeeze, come through. Back down, boom. This is really important for speed-based work, for football, but also for running backs. So we're here, squeeze, come back through. Now, these are all things that we need to do to prep before we get into the meat of the workout to continuously increase that chaos coordination. So we warmed up, we woke up the nervous system, we start to feel a little bit more pliable. The next step that we need to do with football players to start to increase more speed. This is gonna be something that a lot of people don't do. We want to do 60 to 75% of our max clean, okay? And that could be a power clean, a one box clean, a low hang clean. We personally like to use a one box clean. And what we're gonna do is hit sets of one to three reps. So we got mobilized, we're starting to wake up our nervous system and we're gonna hit these big cleans as fast as possible. And the big factor here for coaches out there is that if we can hit cleans on a regular basis, our football players are gonna learn how to have that rapid rate of coordination. They're gonna be able to hit harder. They're gonna have a quicker first step. They're gonna be more explosive. They're gonna be able to jump higher. They're also gonna be more confident in that clean capability. So later on, they could go a little bit heavier, but this is also just going to be a habit for them to learn how to have a rapid rate of force development and in turn, that's what's going to lead to better speed output. So this is something that we had Nick Singleton do recently when he was home from Penn State. He's become one of the most dominant running backs at the power five level in the NCAA. We did four sets of two, working up to about 75% of his best clean max, focusing on moving that weight as quickly as possible and even thinking, catching as rigid as he could be to start to elicit those big time speed gains. Before we continue with speed, I'm gonna be giving away this sweet, free swole shirt. All you have to do to enter to win this free giveaway is one, comment down below. Two, make sure that all your channel notifications are on. Three, show up to our Tuesday YouTube Live to see if you want it. Now, let's get a little bit faster. So football players love learning new exercises. They love to get challenged. And this is gonna help them with that chaos coordination. Chaos coordination is directly linked to any sport that's going to be open skilled. We've gotta improve their absolute strength. We've gotta make sure that we increase their power output through technical coordination. We gotta increase their speed through running and through plyometrics, along with increasing their dynamic trunk control so that they are a little bit more agile. We have to be able to develop a freak in every single joint, every single angle, and every single type of muscular action that could potentially be happening out on the gridiron. So what's the most underutilized aspect around football-based training? That's gonna be rooted in dynamic trunk control. Think about that warm-up, increasing proprioception, improving that thoracic rotation, increasing the pliability of our hips. Then we get into that power clean or the full clean, moving that extremely fast. Now, we're gonna do some complex exercises here to start to wake up even more with our specific knee joint, our ankle, and stability through the trunk with a hip lock position. So we're gonna start off here, okay, with a skater squat, 
into a hip lock position. I'm gonna put this ball in my knee here. That means I wanna hold knee flexion on that back leg. And then when I come through, I'm gonna have more hip extension. So we're gonna have some hamstring action here, and then we're gonna have some hamstring action along with quad action as we come back up. This is pretty freaking challenging. So what I like to do with most of my football players is use exercises like this that are a little bit slower, but really, really force a lot of focus from the athlete. So we can build into more complex movements later on that you're gonna see. Okay, so we're gonna get here, come down, touch, come back up and hold, okay? Here, touch, hold, touch, hold. One more, touch, hold. Now, this is going to help wake us up. We can do five sets of two to three on each leg, but we're gonna pair this with one of my all-time favorite warm-ups, which is gonna be focusing on that glute position here. So I'm gonna be here, I'm gonna hold this position, come through, ooh, that's hard. So there we go. Back, boom. Back, boom. Now you can see I just fell over. We wanna hold this tension here through one leg. That's gonna help us get ready for really, really rapid cuts. Five sets of two on each leg with the skater squats. Five sets of three to four on each leg with that rotational position into a hip lock. If we can do this consistently and we execute as well as possible, this is really gonna prime the athlete to start hitting violent plyometrics, which is gonna lead to that drastic increase in speed. Making cuts is key behind speed-based training when we're thinking about football players. We've gotta be able to run routes quickly. We've gotta be able to read the quarterback or read the running back, read the lineman, so that we can make very rapid cuts. That contributes to football-based speed. A lot of coaches forget that. So we're just outside sprinting in a linear pattern, but then we don't have that ability to cut at high speed. So these next three movements is gonna be where we spend the meat of the entire workout. This is where we wanna get a lot of work done. And I'm gonna give you two variations for this first exercise. I'm gonna give you the general starting point for where you can actually begin, and then we're gonna show you the freak level version of this exercise. And this is going to be a jump cut hurdle hop. So to start, the general version would be double leg landing, jump forward, double leg land, go to the side, and you'll see here. We're here. Okay, so we wanna do that to each side, right? So we'll do that again, one more time through. See if these old bones can handle it. And we wanna think, when I land, it's boom, go forward rapidly. Land, react, land, react, land, react. As quickly as possible. Think about short contact time on the ground. If I have short contact time, I can set my opponent up the defenseman, the dude on offense, and you can make quicker adjustments because you're operating with speed. And this is a hurdle hop into a jump cut. Now, I'll go through this one more time and then we'll show you the freak version. So I'm here and I wanna even plan out. One thing a lot of football players do, they just get in and they start to execute the jump without actually planning ahead. If we can think about organization slightly ahead of time, that's gonna help with everything. Here, boom, boom, boom. Oh, okay, now, if you notice, I was landing double leg. The freak version that you can build into would be hitting that jump, going over the hurdle, landing on one leg, and cutting. If you notice, this is what we had Nicholas do. Nicholas has a great cutting capability. So he can land on one leg, cut to the side, land on two legs, go over. And that's gonna help him set up better cuts when he's out on the football field. One of the biggest aspects around plyometric training is that it's all about angles and it leads to speed development. And that's exactly why we use it inside of our app Peak Strength. People discount plyometrics as far as speed development is concerned. Inside of our app, we'll go through a leg power day, an upper body power day, and then athlete day. And during athlete day, that's when you're gonna see a lot of that speed development happen. You're gonna get challenging plyometrics and that's gonna lead to wrecking more people. Then we're gonna get into this next jump. And this is where we wanna think about landing in certain positions. So let's say we go to catch a ball, we plant, and we've got a cut to get up field. Or we are actually a lineman who gets hit by a linebacker. We're a little bit off balance, we're rotating, and we still have to be able to apply a lot of force in a rotational manner. A lot of us ignore that. We ignore that in the realm of speed. This is really coming back to chaos coordination and transient speed inside of a football game. So we've got to train all these angles, train all these rates of coordination. Now, this next series is a reckless jump. It's extremely hard. So build into this slowly. You can build into it by starting with out of box and just doing a false step here and then actually getting into the movement. 
I'm gonna try and demonstrate as well as I can, and then we're gonna show you examples of Nicholas executing at a very freak level. This is where we're starting. This is the progression to get to freak level. Now, we're gonna go here. I'm gonna do a little depth drop, and I wanna focus on rotational movement and trying to react as quickly as possible. So I'm here. Okay, so that's another big aspect. Rotate, rotate, jump, jump, sprint. Rotate, rotate, jump, jump, sprint. If we're landing here, and again, we wanna think about we get hit. Let's pretend I have a ball. I get hit and I have to three-leg it. I'm in some weird position. That can be what this last thing is about. I'm gonna try one more, a little bit quicker, but still focus on turn, turn, boom, boom. Sprint as quickly as you possibly can. Oof, boom, a little slow, boom. So the other cool factor there is that if you're doing it to both sides, you'll start to see like, oh, I'm weak on this side, I'm weak when I rotate to my left, weak when I rotate to my right. That's the biggest aspect behind peak strength is that we're gonna train both sides of the body to be explosive. We're gonna train with plyometrics on athlete day, even on impulse day, to improve that speed on the right side and on the left side. And we've gotta look at it. If you head over to peakstrength.app, the Google Play Store, the Apple iOS Store, and you download Peak Strength, you can even select. In football-based training, I'm a running back. I wanna train specifically like a running back. I'm a lineman. I wanna train exactly like a lineman. So you can actually see we're training these positions specific to their need. That's that big aspect behind developing freaks. Now, this next exercise, this is gonna be the last movement, is a phenomenal movement, not just for pliability and speed, but also for setting up even further capability with jump cuts. So the series is going to help develop linear speed and it's going to set up those monster jump cuts. And we really, really develop them well with the reckless jumps and with the jump cuts out of the hurdle hops. So if we spend five or six sets on those specific movements, now we can get into this series and really feel the bilateral jump into the single leg jump and then try to take note about which side is not performing as well as the other side in comparison. I even recommend if you're a coach or you're a self-motivated athlete at home and you're watching this, you wanna be that next level freak, one thing that you can do is set up your iPhone and while you're executing it, if you're on a football field or if you've got your team out on a football field, you can see, okay, this kid's a little bit slower with his right leg, he can't jump as far with his left leg, whatever it might be. We need to develop this strength inside the weight room and then possibly use some type of contrast training to increase that coordination. So I'm gonna demonstrate here. I'll go nice and easy first, because I'm trying to just wake it up a little bit more. So we can go here, single leg, double leg, single leg, jump. So that's to start it off. Bound, single leg, bound, single leg, land. So let's say we're doing six to eight sets, okay? We wanna get a lot of work done. We're focusing on training for football speed. Chaos coordination means that we can coordinate through crazy, crazy positions. I'm gonna demonstrate now with a little bit higher intensity and then we'll show you that freak level. So we're here, boom, 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 boom. That's a little bit better. Rest about a minute and a half to two minutes. Come back, get set. Boom, 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 boom. So if you wanna take your training to the next level, head over to peakstrength.app, the Google Play Store, the Apple iOS Store, and you can download Peak Strength today. Use this workout to help improve your football speed so that you can become a freak. Because remember, freaks, if you wanna become a champion, you've always gotta cultivate your power. Peace.